so that's it pretty much refrigerator is back again it's alive this is gonna last for another 24 hours 48 hours rather got my veggies probably I'll cook myself a nice dinner tonight and some creamer for my coffee and of course ice cubes that keeps this whole environment cool for the next 48 hours what more can I ask for the journey continues I'll probably see you in Stockholm don't go away good morning and welcome to situation report um, slowly saying goodbye to Copenhagen thank you Denmark I had a good time I had a great time here and today I'm gonna try to approach uh, Sweden from the southern end Malmo so today we are crossing across the channel across the Baltic Sea on the southern end of Sweden um, it's gonna be a 20 minutes ride across the bridge but first before the bridge there is a tunnel so I looked that up and uh, also there is a toll gate so it's, it looks like it's gonna be interesting this morning um, I had a good sleep of course you could tell from the video um, with my upgraded Airbnb so I'm slowly signing off from Denmark Copenhagen but of course you know don't go away see you when I get to the bridge or when I get to the tunnel and um, today we are going to drive to Jönköping. Jönköping is around three and a half hours drive from Copenhagen over here. Then probably I take a quick rest. Of course, you know, not going to do six hour stretch. See how I feel after that um, three and a half hours rest uh, drive rather. Then we will be on our way to Stockholm, the capital of Sweden. Then uh, that's it for now. Uh, this version of Situation Report, of course. Uh, see you when I get to the tunnel or when I get to the bridge. Make sure you don't go away. When I was coming into Denmark, was the most expensive. I mean, saying that means I lied. This by far is the most expensive toll gate I've ever driven across. And there seems to be some border control. I don't know. Not sure, not entirely sure why there should be one. Perhaps because of the bridge. Not really sure. But let's find out. Morning. Do you have a passport? Sure, of course. Have you uh, made a booking for the ship? Not yet. It's gonna be from Kapelska to Nantali. Okay. Yeah, I was about doing it, then I, I lost Wi-Fi. Okay. Yes. For the government? No. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Freaking hell, it's 65 euro. Five euro for this bridge and this toll. Oh my god. So basically that was it. A quick passport check to confirm who I am using the plastic card of course, you know. Um, not sure why there was a border control over there, maybe customs, but it was a complete border control. Got my ID and passport scanned. And after questioning where I've been, all the countries I've driven to, pretty much have been rotating around the European Union, you know, already know by now. So that was it. But yeah, back to the real thing. We are going to drive for three hours, then stop over in Yonkoping, rest, take a bit of um, looking around, but I don't plan to film there. Um, it's just gonna be a resting point for me.
maybe one hour, two hours perhaps. Then I'm off to Stockholm where I plan to spend the night. But until then, don't go away. See you when I see you. I probably would like to buy one mango if I see a good one. Um, I haven't seen a very good mango since I left Poland. Yeah, the last good mango I had was in Poland. So let's check Maxi out. And of course, the most important reason why I'm here, this bad guy. I'm gonna go for two of them. Two of them should do. Not really the type of mangoes you want to buy. Not in my wildest dreams. As kids, we played football with those. They are good for nothing. I mean, who brings these mangoes to Europe? Who told you you can eat those? Not really sure. I noticed the she over here, probably better, but no, uh, no, no, no. I remember my video about mangoes in Barbados and I got a few people attacking me. I'm sorry, Pa. I come, I come from a family where we grow mangoes, so I know a good mango at least. But not just mangoes, let's go look out for other supplies. What a display from Mr. Acrobatic. Uh. Oranges? No, really. Don't really need them. The most important thing I need right now ice blocks. Ice blocks. So. I had a tip off that this is the best bread in Sweden, so I'm gonna try this. So, get in my kitchen, my refrigerator set up again to get all this nice and fresh. I got my cream milk for coffee and some water, basically. So that's it pretty much, refrigerator is back again, it's alive, this is going to last for another 24 hours, 48 hours rather, got my veggies, probably I'll cook myself a nice dinner tonight and some creamer for my coffee and of course ice cubes that keeps this whole environment cool for the next 48 hours. What more can I ask for? The journey continues. I'll probably see you in Stockholm. Don't go away. This time around, I'm welcoming you to the capital of Sweden, Stockholm. Gradually approaching where I will dock my tent tonight. Honestly, I bought some supplies, but I'm too tired to cook. Perhaps I'm gonna snack on something and make a quick breakfast tomorrow. But, yes. I also plan to spend the night here 
and tomorrow I'm off to the next country. Make sure you stay tuned so you don't miss this. See you when I see you. Whoa, what a day, what a day. Situation report, I'm now in Stockholm, capital of Sweden. Um, too tired to cook, sorry. So cooking show another day. And also too tired to set up my two bedroom apartment behind, as you saw in Denmark, in uh, Copenhagen. I'm pretty much gonna deal with my initial blanket at the driver's seat which was my first room and um, grab some sleep tomorrow I will be off to Kapelska Kapelska is one hour drive from Stockholm where I will drive four wheels into a water van then we are going to ride tomorrow with a water van into the new country or the next country Finland so tomorrow hopefully in the morning I will leave here around whenever I wake up I found actually by the way um, parking in Sweden is very tricky I mean Sweden is a long stretch of land from the southern end of the Baltic crossing the Arctic Circle until the cane of the three countries and here in Stockholm parking is very tricky but I found a nice neighborhood where I docked my tent I believe the parking here is free nobody's gonna knock on my window for tonight um, here I'm not sure you can see the neighborhood that's uh, a supermarket in front of me but there was no conducive parking over there there were light everywhere and I found this spot where there is no light so tomorrow we sail in with the water van into Finland the land of Finns the land where Santa Claus came from fun fact um, Santa Claus as you know it originated from Finland yep you got that right so we are approaching sadly the end of this Euro tour but good as well for me so I can do other things and give this guy a much deserved rest this guy needs an accolade He's been my friend all along. But yeah, I don't want to bore you with my speech now. I will, of course, call it a day. The sun has gone to bed a long time ago, so will I. Um, tomorrow, hopefully, I find enough strength to deal with this um, fatigue. A bit of fatigue today. I've been driving for as long as I remember. Probably roughly eight hours on the road actually but the whole day i've been you know on, on the road so let's cut that it's been a lot of um lullaby um enough for the night but i think i will see you tomorrow in finland hopefully we are going to cross with a water van so stay tuned and uh, don't go away of course see you when i see you Oh, well, good morning and welcome to day two in Sweden. Um, unfortunately, I'm not planning to explore Sweden, just passing by as much as I did in other countries. Um, as you know, the essence of this trip was to see as much countries as possible, not necessarily exploring. But I changed my location last night because just as I was about to say good night, or just immediately I said good night to you guys last night. The building switched on a very big light probably for security reasons probably it had cctv but it had a free parking area but what i did over here scoop looks like a supermarket and it did a lot of justice <laughs> actually what happened was i took a very cold shower here around 6 a.m in the morning it was dark and trust me i got a bit warm from that cold shower so i mean uh, last night was cool enough not necessarily too cold but i i managed i was able to tolerate the cold today actually is day number 18 of my exploration with four wheels he's teaming up ready for today's work i love this guy he's been my best friend he's been my movement he's been my hotel um 
you might be wondering why not rent a hotel why not go to i don't know a hostel or something um the point of this trip to, is to see how far i can go out of my comfort zone which would most likely unlock some inner strengths and i'm beginning to feel them trust me so say hello to, to my best friend today is day number 18 and country number 14 country number 13 rather so we're gonna try to drive to the eastern coast of um, Stockholm it's gonna be one hour drive get into a water van and eventually sail all over to Finland so today actually I'm gonna be in the water van almost all day we leave at 10 and um, we get there at 7 30 p.m. in the evening so probably it will be interesting to see what inside looks like so make sure you don't go away catch you when I get there all right sweet boy you ready for today's work um, well actually my trip is getting closer to where I'll take a break because actually the more strain I get the more you feel tired you, f you feel fatigue from you know going and uh, stretching towards uh, the more I go on this trip the more interesting the more invigorating it becomes but actually there is some level or some element of fatigue so uh, it's getting closer to when I will take a pause but for now first of all let's get to the water van don't get away interesting how weather has changed over 18 days since I started my trip I left when it was pretty much very hot in, in just 18 days the weather had gone from very hot extremely hot to cold to rainy huh. the trees are changing colors winter is almost at the corner and of course, when you're driving in the rain, it slows you down a bit, you can't take any chances. Um, when approaching Campbell's Carport in about 13 minutes. So, looks like we're here. But, um, I need to find the proper terminal that is taking me to Nantali. Nantali is uh, a city that is 10 kilometers away from Turku, Finland. I would say the city of Turku, Finland has Nantali as its own selling, selling port. Alright, so Mariaham Viking Line, not here. We need to find our own checking area so we can go right into the water van today over here fin lines so fin lines and tonic and uh -huh. over here is fin lines and that's a big water van all right this is the port for the water van this morning going all the way to Nantali but I see the departure time is correct but the destination is wrong so I should probably ask I see a woman there the horizon I should probably ask her I want to know if we are at the right place or not so I'm probably gonna ask her hello good morning I'm going to Nantali yes. 
So when when are we gonna check in? Now. Now. Yes. All right. Perfect. So I need your ID. Sure, 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 sure. Then you will uh, get on board. All right. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. So arrived right on time at the seaport, sailing to Nantali. Actually, the gate is open, and. Um, it's gonna be selling in um, almost 40 minutes, which is okay. So I probably will see you inside the water van. Don't go away. Thank you. And there you go. So, and then you go inside in line 36. Line 36? Yes. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, bye. As easy as that, it's always good asking questions. I told you that Polish trucks are the kings of European road in Poland. These guys are everywhere. From the time I left in Estonia down to Latvia, Lithuania, Poland, Germany, they are everywhere. Polish trucks. But wow, I'm excited this morning. I got myself um, a tag. The 1st of August, 10.15, passengers 1, vehicle length or height 6. That's the size of um, four wheels. But yeah, we're going. See you inside the water van. I'm excited. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Over here? Alright, so we're here. And that's that. In the belly of the water van. I'm so excited. Okay, enough of crying. Enough crying. Yeah, I didn't use my seat belt. Here in the belly of the water van, see you outside. This thing is massive, it's enormous. Sorry for the noise, but there's no way I can avoid it. I think we're gonna go here at deck 11 or 12. Nine and eight are sleeping areas. And we're at seven. So let's check out deck eleven. Here we are. I need a hot coffee this morning. But let's look around, let's see what we can find inside this water van it takes off or it sails approximately 
in half an hour. Half an hour from now, we'll be on our way. Wow, okay, interesting. Let's check out other places. Hello, sir. Yo. How are you? Good, you? Good, sir. A fellow passenger. And there is also possibility of going outside. Or sitting areas. Check out outside later on. Rosella. A lot of water vans over here. Oops. That's the hardest door since 1960 oh, yeah outside of the water van the weather is not that bad at all and here we are and the belly of the water van for which we are going to cross today to finland and from finland we'll see how we feel if we can continue the journey to other countries <coughs> but for now we're still here should probably go grab some coffee. It has got a lot of trucks over there. Um, I would say 12 or 15. And that's the engine over there, the exhaust. I think I drove from this way, but on, on the first floor. This thing is massive. This thing is it's amazingly massive. Okay, we can still go up. Sorry about the wind, but let's check upstairs. <coughs> wow, a heli can land here. Wow, okay. You got yourself a heli, you can place it right here. Interesting. Ooh. I'm short of words. If it was proper summer, this place would be a good place to have a good barbecue <laughs> with friends and family, if they allowed that, of course. Or they could sell it as a perk, you know, barbecue area, and you pay extra 100 euros to use it. You know companies and how they do sometimes I can smell fuel or gasoline or diesel I don't know what that is but I can smell it I think the Sun is coming from this area we're gonna sail in half an hour you saw when they close the door of this big ass water van which we drove four wheels into my trip is even getting more excited I love this but anyways, don't go away. I'm gonna go down, grab some coffee, and explore a little bit more. Stay tuned. I forgot to tell you that my ticket this morning inside this water van included a buffet breakfast. So we're gonna have buffet breakfast soon. Welcome back. So, I got some rice, pretty decent rice, looks like. Um, wings and some grilled ridges in the belly of the water van. And of course, some basic cutlery. <laughs> it's like the weight of a paper. But what more can I ask for? Let's change the taste of food. No bad. And I can also tell you, you saw the trucks, yeah? A lot of men here are truck drivers from Lithuania, Poland. I could hear some Lithuanian 
some Russian as well. I understand Russian, of course you know by now. Driving all the way from Western Europe to cross to the Baltics or to Finland. The easiest way is not to cross the Arctic Circle and drive down. That would be another, I don't know, 2,000 kilometers. So they just cross over from Sweden to Finland and head north maybe to Russia or maybe cross again to Estonia but this boat is crossing from Kapelska in Sweden to Nantali a small city 10 kilometers away from Turku in Finland about nine hours drive so I should probably find a place to call a tent and um, grab some rest or probably sleep so I'll enjoy my meal see you when I see you That's it, off we go, saying goodbye to Sweden and welcoming a new country in about nine hours, Finland. I had breakfast in the water van as you saw and we're saying goodbye to Sweden. Goodbye Sweden, see you when I see you. This thing is massive, moving majestically carrying a lot of trucks a lot of vans down in the other hall and moving I would say 20 30 kilometers per hour um, that's probably why it's gonna take us nine hours to do uh, seemingly less than 200 kilometers across uh, the Baltic Sea down with breakfast so we should probably go Explore other places in this launch. See what inside. See other places. How inside looks like. Let's go check it out. Breakfast area probably. I had breakfast over there. For kids, if you're traveling in this water van with your kid, they will also be entertained all through the journey. This is a wonderful piece of art. Let's check out the mini supermarket. You can pretty much get, buy a new t-shirt, some chocolates, wine, booze, stuff for your children pretty much she said no filming inside the supermarket but you already have an idea <coughs> casino we're moving Probably a jewelry store and another games room. Of course, I think this wouldn't be for free. We're still moving. Why couldn't we film in the supermarket? What's the secret? Comment below. I'm too tired to Google that. Why we cannot film the lift? I took the lift up to the 11th deck, so so there is no indication that we cannot film here. So the cafeteria over there, probably the supermarket woman was just 
camera shot, eh? Or just bullshitting? Whichever one. I don't know. Yeah, we're moving. Slowly moving. Slowly getting there. I see a lot of islands. Uninhabited islands. So I beg one of my rich viewers, buy me one of these islands. I'd like to live in one. If you're rich and you support my channel and you like what I do, please buy me one of those islands. I'll be very happy to live in one. You know? Let's take another view from this angle. A small sized island will do so I can sail with my own water van and park four wheels over there. I think I came from this way, I don't know. Yeah, but it looks like we're going round or round. Probably I should um, check out another floor. We're on the 11th, so let's check out tent. Probably it will be the same or no, I don't know. Let's see. So, we were here where I parked four wheels at seven. Eight, sleeping area plus car and deck nine, truckers lounge. Ten is crew only. Probably we should check out eight and nine. Either eight or nine or both. Eight and the sleeping area. I'm totally unsure if my reservation has hotel booked. Wow, okay. Let's check this out. I'll check the conditions of my reservation once more if it does not have. A sleeping area it's a nine hours journey I should probably go to reception and buy one provided it is affordable in it yeah this door is locked should probably get a key to use them right I'll go to the reception now and see if I can buy an accommodation. Other than that, pretty much sitting for nine hours, which makes no sense. Knock, knock. Can I get one for the one with the window? With window? Yeah, with window. Yeah. I'm gonna get myself a sleeping cabin. So I got the accommodation sorted. Seven zero two four. Right, let's see. Oh, like a hotel. And it's got a view. Super. It's got a charging port as well. And my camera is running short of um, charge. Guess what? Before I let you go, he has a shower.
goodness gracious I'm gonna have shower proper shower not bush shower this time around we are slowly moving to Finland and saying goodbye to Sweden so I should probably stop filming now but yeah pretty much this sort of um, wraps up this episode I think um, it's been a good one I will um, sit down grab some sleep perhaps and um, see you when I get to Finland in approximately nine hours from now apparently I can't stop filming <laughs> I can't stop filming. This is so interesting. This is so exciting. And I've been just reflecting on where I started on this trip and where I am right now and where I'm heading to. How many kilometers I've covered, how many towns and cities and countries I've seen. It feels like nothing. <laughs> but thank you, all of you who've been with me all along uh, watching until this very moment I don't want to mention names but I appreciate all of you and I'll see you in Finland but I don't want to disappoint you I don't plan on exploring Finland because of time factor and as well how I feel but I will see if I can um, do a cooking video or perhaps when I get to the next country I don't know yet but most importantly let's see how I feel but all right it's time to say goodbye now for real I'll probably grab some more rest it's warm in here and I love it it's gonna be a nine hours drive nine hours ride so 